Hi there, and thanks for dropping by. D, the review fella here with some low-tech security for high-tech cars. Let's get right into it. Ever since cars were made, they have been stolen. At the end of the day, some unscrupulous people will always look for the opportunity to take something that doesn't belong to them. Years ago, before the world got smarter, we would protect our cars with a chunk of metal, similar to the steering locks here. It would slow down or even stop the casual thief. These devices can still be useful and relevant today. However, given enough time, most locks and mechanisms like this can be compromised. Plus, they're often awkward to use and take up room on the back seat or in the footwell. And who wants one of these flying around if you ever get into an accident? If you have a fairly modern car, then you may have a keyless system allowing you to unlock the vehicle and start it without a key. A very convenient setup. No fiddling with keys or button presses in the pouring rain. This is all done via a short range radio signal, so you need to be close to your vehicle for it to work. However, this opens up a new and increasingly popular way of stealing cars. It removes the need to break into your house and take the keys, although that's still a preferred method of many crooks, as a car with a key has more value. Compromising your high-tech keyless system is as simple as pressing a device against your door or window and picking up the signal being emitted by your smart key. This is then amplified and relayed to your car to fool your vehicle into thinking the key is close by. If you're unlucky, the vehicle will unlock and the engine immobiliser deactivates. Once it's started, the car can be driven away and will not stop or cut out just because it's a distance from the original key. One solution to this problem is a Faraday day pouch. They are cheap, usually less than £10 or $10. This one cost me £8 and you get two for the price, which is handy as it's easy to forget that spare smart key sitting unused in a drawer. I'll put a link in the description with all the details to the pouch I use. You can of course make your own. The microwave oven is a good Faraday cage, but just be careful you don't accidentally cook your key as they are always expensive to replace. You might break your oven too. Tin foil works well, but it's a hassle to keep wrapping and unwrapping your key. For the price and convenience, it's well worth buying a Faraday pouch. You can also use them to put a mobile phone or credit card into if you wish, to block anyone trying to tamper with those too. These pouches will block any type of signal, including radio waves, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. They come in various sizes and quantities, so just make sure the one you buy fits your needs. The one I bought is fairly heavy duty. There is a quality feel to it and it seems well made. The edges are stitched for extra security and there is a metallic sprung clasp on the outside so you can fix it to your belt or bag. The opening flap is held secure with a hook and loop fastener and you can see the inside is lined with a silver fabric. This is a carbon microfiber material to block a signal from getting in or out. The outer material is splash proof so will protect your smart key during those heavy downpours. There is also a short chain and key ring to keep your fob or keys from falling out. A nice touch I think. It's a smart looking item, it doesn't look odd or out of place. One slight downside, it is going to feel like you're carrying another mobile phone around with you because of the size and shape of it. This particular one measures 14 centimeters by 9 centimeters, but it's no hassle to slip it into your bag or carry it in a jacket pocket, so it's worth the extra bulk to keep your car secure. I'd also recommend either taking it to bed with you or putting it somewhere less obvious, as this pouch is useless if it gets stolen in a burglary with your valuable key sitting inside it. So to the important part, does it work? In my tests it worked flawlessly, with my fob inside the pouch the car remains locked and immobilised. Outside of the pouch the car unlocks and starts as expected. I'm impressed with the performance of this item. I suggest you do your own thorough testing if you do purchase one of these, just be sure there are no flaws or faults allowing a signal to pass through. So there you have it, a low tech but highly effective Faraday pouch, to protect your smart key from having its signal amplified in order to steal your car. See the link below to the product I tested. Let me know what you think of these, would one of these be any use to you? Have you had your car stolen or had experience of using one of these pouches? Please let me know below. Thank you for watching. If this was useful or interesting I'd really appreciate a thumbs up if you have time. It's a big help to me if you do. If you'd like to see more security and tech reviews please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you once again. Please stay safe and I hope to see you soon.